Hey everyone, we're back for chapter 32 of The Adventures of Will Irving, Automaton Trouble. Here we go. It's almost five, Will, Hank said as he entered Will's special garage turned workshop where Will and Claire were both working hard on repairing mats. You better get ready to go. Will and Claire had spent all morning in the secret room beneath Claire's house taking notes and making copies of all the plans that referred to component number 35. Once they had finished, they had returned to Will's house to begin repairing Max, bringing with them a variety of materials and pieces of equipment that they thought might prove useful in the process. I know, Will replied as he looked up from the soldering he was doing. Just about done here. Will finished his work, set down his soldering iron, and stood up. Claire left her place on the opposite side of the large table where Max's body lay and came close to Will. I'll see you guys when you get home. Claire said cheerfully as she gave Will a hug and a kiss on the cheek. As Claire pulled away, Will took her hand and lingered a moment, gazing into her eyes. He smiled, nodded, and then began to walk out of the workshop. As Will passed Hank, he slowed his pace and put his hand on Hank's shoulder and squeezed. They gave each other a knowing nod, and then Will continued walking toward the house. You've grown fond of each other, Hank said quietly to Claire as he put his hands in his pockets and watched Will enter the house. Yeah, Claire softly replied. I don't blame you, Hank continued. You're both great. Claire walked over and stood next to Hank. I love him like a son, Hank said warmly. I don't know what I'd do if something ever happened to him or Emily. Claire put her arm through Hank's. They'll be okay, Hank, Claire reassured. Don't worry. And that is chapter 32. We'll see you next time for chapter 33.